Good morning from Explorer of the Seas. We just docked in Sicily. Sicily is this big island right off the boot of Italy. I didn't know that before this cruise. Maybe I'm stupid, I don't know. But specifically, we're in Messina. And I was shocked because I did not know that this island of Sicily was so close to the mainland of Italy. Yeah, we were sailing this morning and we thought we were seeing Messina, but no, we were yeah. seeing the actual mainland of Italy, like the, the tip of the boot. And we actually docked next to the Celebrity Beyond. And if I meet Captain Kate today, my life will be made. <laughs> I could die at any moment because I know that I have met Captain Kate. And uh, we have this statue welcoming us into Messina, which I guess this is the Golden Madonna, from what I understand. And this is, it's um, saying it's a. Uh, I bless you and your city? Something yeah, like that? apparently it was a quote from a letter that the Virgin Mary sent to the town of Messina basically saying like, uh, like bless you for embracing Christianity. It's from the year 42. So uh, today in Messina, we're doing this Royal Caribbean excursion. It is called Terramina on your own. And so um, Terramina is the town that was in season two of The White Lotus, mm -hmm. if you remember that amazing show. So I'm excited to see this. Yeah, this is basically a bus ride to Terramina from Messina. We explore it on our own and then we get a bus ride back. It's all about transportation. Yeah, this excursion. Let's go. As usual, we're meeting our excursion group in the theater. And then from there, we'll get on our bus with our group. Okay, we're off the ship. Heading on to the bus now, and we will be there in one second. Okay, one second later of video time, we are there. It took about an hour, and there's the volcano. He said that sometimes you're walking the streets of Terramina, where we are, and you can see like the lava spewing from it. That's messed up. I'm really hoping it doesn't uh, erupt today. I think that what they say is though like this one is constantly erupting but it's just it's a very slow stream of lava. That's what they said at Pompeii. This is called Mount Etna. Yeah. He said also this is the guy that drove us in the bus that this is the largest volcano in Europe. Just like um, some of our other stops we have some uh, points of interest on our Google Maps. Carrie's walking path has been created. <laughs> Um, so we like made it through the main gate, we made it to the main area, and next up is Arancini. Oh, yes. And it's supposedly the best Arancini in the world. Yeah. And we're gonna eat it and put it in our tummy. Yeah, basically we're gonna walk all around Terramina here. We have three hours to walk around on our own, and then we have to meet back up at the bus station for our hour ride back into Messina. It's like down there. So down here, so we, we read online that there's this place that has literally the world's best arancini. So I think it's down here. Okay, it's this. It's Da Cristina. It smells really good. Yeah. I guess it's a little uh, quick service type of thing? Yeah, really I'm gonna sick. scan this because it's got the menu. Okay. So the menu, okay, so on the menu today is a bunch of little black dots. Ooh, yeah. And three squares. Can't wait to eat that. Okay, so here's the place, uh, Da Cristina, and oh my god. Look at this. Looks amazing. Look how big they are. They're gigantic, and we got four of them, so it's a feast. So I believe this one is pistachio. Yeah. I got it because it says it has pesto in it, and I love pesto. This one's ragu. This one is. Yeah, the pointy one is ragu. This one's spinach, because yeah. it's green. And then this one's eggplant. So we have a whole, whole food festival going on yeah. here and I can't wait to, back, to dig in. Okay, so we asked for a fork, and he, he was said, like, nope. no. He said, you can have a knife to cut it. You eat you this like share. a baguette. Yeah, he said, eat it with your hands. That's how it's supposed to be done. And he probably was like, stupid Americans. Yeah. No, he was really nice. <laughs> and he spoke English, it was awesome. Yeah. Do you want to start with the ragu? Or? Yes, yes, yes. I feel like that's the classic. So if you didn't know, arancini. We love arancini. Um, it's basically fried, a ball of fried rice, and in the middle is meat, cheese, and a sauce, basically. And deliciousness. Yeah. This is much bigger than I've seen. Like, we've had this in America. They're usually so tiny. They're usually, like, a lot smaller. Like a meatball. This one looks like a volcano. This is the ragu. I just want to, we have to cut it open and see what it looks like. And also, we're sharing, so. Oh my god, look at this. 
Oh my god. Holy moly. So it's rice, peas, a red sauce, and is there meat in here? I think there's meat. Yeah. That's good. Wow. I want to try a different flavor really quick. Okay. I'm going to try the spinach. That one's for you, because I don't eat vegetables. Oh, you're not going to have the spinach one? I probably will. If you tell me it's good, I will. Well, I'm going to cut it open anyway just to see. Yeah, look at this one. This one is rice, spinach, and mozzarella, I think. Wow. Let me try this one. Oh, my God. Mm. Good? I think I like that one better. Really? Okay, well, then I will have to try it. Oh, my God. This might get messy. Look at these. They're, like, oozing out. I know. God. Normally, orange is like an appetizer. This is a whole meal right here. I like how their logo is also a little bite out of the ragu orange mm, mm -hmm. Okay, that's really good. They also had pots, pasta and pizza. They had, they said it was street pasta. Because it was like you could carry it around with you. It had like a little container. Okay, this is the spinach one. Yeah. Uh, well, you don't like spinach, I think. Ragu is better. Carrie cut open the pistachio one. So this is pistachios, pesto, rice, um, ham even too, right? I love ham. I love pesto. I don't know how I feel I about pistachio, but like, yeah. let's add it into the mix. I think mozzarella as well. Yeah. We cleared up enough room on our plate yeah. in order to cut it open. Okay. That's good. I think I prefer the classic. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but it's good. Okay, I'm gonna try the, um, what was it? Eggplant. Eggplant, yeah. A little bit of spinach fell on top of it. This one is, um, I think it was um, mozzarella, parmesan. I can't even remember everything. There's eggplant in it. Yeah. Show it to the camera. Oh, I think there's basil in here too. Okay, nice. Let's see. This one's my favorite, actually. Really? Yeah, you can really taste the basil. Mmm, that's what I wanted. You, yeah, you should have some of this one. I don't like it. It's good, though. Okay, so this is the San Domenico Palace. This is the Four Seasons Resort, and this is where they filmed The White Lotus Season 2. And I guess they also they have one, a Michelin star. Wow, there it is. Oh, wow, there it is, yeah. Are we allowed to go in or will I shoot us on site? I don't want to go in. I'm going to take a picture though. It looks cool though. They can smell the pour on us from here. <laughs> that was cool, even though we were not going to go in. Um, but the, the whole season basically was filmed in Termina here. Brian refused to watch that show. I, I saw me. some of it. Um, but it was like, it was like a show that I watched by myself because Brian hates me. Ugh. So in the show, it's called, the hotel is called the White Lotus, but in real life, it's actually- It's called the, the Four Seasons. It's actually the Four Seasons. Because they filmed season one in the Four Seasons in Hawaii, and season two, Four Seasons here. <laughs> Even just walking around here is really neat. Um, what is our next stop? I don't know. <laughs> Corso Umbretto. Yeah, a lot of the stops are in Italian, so we don't know what it is until we get there. I think it might just be the name of the street. Oh, really? Because this is the main street of town, so like this is where you want to be walking. I don't want to go up this street, but I just think it looks so cool. With the mountain in the background and the blue sky. The streets are so cool around here. When we walked in, it was, it said like, the gate to the ancient city. Oh, really? And doesn't that sound so cool? Yeah. Well, we found the uh, the edge of town, I guess. <laughs> How pretty is this? Wow. This is pretty amazing. We have a restaurant right by the, the edge here. You can really tell how uh, steep it is. Yeah. If uh, that volcano causes a little earthquake, we're toast right now. <laughs> so, um, originally, I wasn't thinking we would do an excursion. I was thinking maybe we would just take the train and get here on our own. But if you look way down there, you can see the train tracks. So oh, we would have fun. had to find our way up here. Like probably would have had to hike our way up here. Oh man. So I'm glad we took the bus, which brought us up here for us. Yeah. So this is the main street in Termina. It goes like all the way down. With a lot of the places you want to get to, it branches off into these smaller streets. Wow, look at this pasta. Oh, wow. 
We've really made it deep into town now because yeah. you can tell that like nobody else is really here from the cruise ships. Yeah. We might have missed our turn. <laughs> okay, so this is our next stop. Yeah, this is like a beautiful garden area. Public Garden Terramina. Okay, the Public Garden of Terramina. <laughs> it's a garden and it's public. And it's in Terramina. Wow, it looks pretty cool actually. Actually. Oh my god. Carrie's risking it all for a photo <laughs> here. This is dangerous. <laughs> do it for the thumbnail. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so do we know what the next stop is? Oh, it's the famous like teatro, the theater in this area. Oh, like the Roman theater? Yes. Okay. Yeah, ancient Greek. Oh, it's Greek. Greek oh, whoops. Okay. We're walking up to the theater and it's just <laughs> just every street we go down. It's like, oh my God, I gotta take out the camera. Look at this, it's just like. It's just a winding, beautiful staircase. Every single street is photo worthy. This is gorgeous. Yeah. So we just got to the ancient theater. I don't, what is, I don't know what it's called. The theater from ancient Greece. It's the theater in Terramina. That's all you need Teatro. to know. <laughs> wow. Well, there it is. We're in the. We're basically backstage, I guess. <laughs> yeah, maybe where are the people performing? Wow, okay. la, la, la. We, gotta, we gotta figure out how to get up there. Whoa, there's Tiramina behind us. Wow. Whoa. This is a good view. Okay, now this is an area for a photo. Wow. If the volcano erupts, we'll have a perfect view. We're walking up the steps to the theater here and um, you can see Tiramina and you can see, I believe that's the Four Seasons right there, right? That, that gray building. Oh. So that's the White Lotus. Yeah, and like then, yep. the one almost like jutting out. Yeah. So I think it's that. Pretty sure it's that. And then, We're going to so come guess, back and stay there. Yeah, yeah, right. And then I think they would go to the beach down there, I guess. And that's where people would die. Yeah, and so I guess, you know, the beach, I mean, kind of far away from the hotel. But how crazy but, is it that the volcano is just like off in the I distance know. too? And it's it's actually smoking too. And he, he literally said he would see it orange and red. That is freaky. That is so freaky. Oh my God. Wow. Well, we all know I'm a balcony girl, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. They have modern seating mixed in with the, um, the old stone here. I wonder if they actually hold events here. It actually seems like they do. Oh my God, look at it with the city in the background. Like the stage opens up to the city. It's incredible. My God. The back wall of the stage has like collapsed, but it like opens up with a view into Mount Etna, the volcano there. This is kind of amazing. Look, you can see that they use it for entertainment events oh. now. These are the seats. So I could buy, you know, row nine, seat 17. Yeah. How crazy. It's so funny, they just put a sticker on the stone. On this like ancient Greek Roman stone. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the Four Seasons right there in the center. Yeah, I agree. In the show, you know, they were staying at the Four Seasons, but they had characters come and visit here as well. So we're just seeing all the sights from the show. We, we climbed all the way up to uh, the nosebleed section <laughs> of the theater. <laughs> oh. And uh, there's beautiful sights here too. It's like every second I have to pull out my camera. I know. <laughs> we only have about an hour and 15 minutes left before we have to be at the bus station and get back to um, Messina. Um, I think it's because, because the, it's an hour away by bus, so we don't have much time up here on our own. Just means we have to come back. Yeah. But yeah, we're, not even, we're like halfway through our list of points of interest, so we need to prioritize- The food. The, well, not only that, but the dessert. <laughs> That's the, what I mean. Um, the gelato and the granita, or granita, granita, I'm not sure. We're gonna really find sure. out. We're gonna find out, but um. Oh my gosh, there's oh. a Skyway. Oh my God. I, I had no idea. Know. Where I don't know where the Skyway goes. I think it takes you down to the beach. Oh, does it? Yeah. Wow, okay. That's cool. Our bus driver basically said that this um, theater is at the end of town. And um, so that means we've walked basically to one and now we have to walk back. The next stop we have on our route is called Gelato Mania. So you know it's gotta be good. Yeah. Okay, we found our gelato, Gelato Mania. Line out the door. Line out the door, good sign. We haven't actually seen lines in any of the other gelato places we passed on our way here. I love this sign. It's 
Terramina Gelato Mania. This gelato is expensive. It's three euros instead of two euros. Wow. Uh, looks like they also have uh, the Grenada. Grenada. Um, we read online, though, that this place was the best. Of course, with a name like Gelato Mania. We've seen uh, the flavor Stracciatella. Yes. Stracciatella which I guess is like um, vanilla and chocolate. From what I understand, I'm not really sure. We've seen that in all these places we've been going to. It's the first time I decided to try it. What's the other half? Chocolate and the stretchatella. Nice. This place looks good from what we've seen so far. Yes. Chocolate's really good. It looks really good, to be honest with you. Also, I think because it has a line out the door, it's like, that's how you know it's good. Yeah, stretchatella. Oh, the stretchatella is better. Wow. You gotta try it. You got the Oreo. How is it? It is so good. Can I try it? Yeah, of course. I've seen Oreo listed at a lot of other places, but it always looks like vanilla ice cream. And it this one looks like chocolate. This looks chocolatey, yeah. and it tastes chocolatey, and it's so, so good. It's so good. I feel like Dairy Queen has like a, like what are they, what are they called at Dairy Queen? I'm sorry. Blizzard. Dairy Queen has a blizzard of Oreo. It tastes like that, but better. Wow. Can I try it? Mm-hmm. Put this in your mouth. That's good, right? Oh my God. That's mind blowing. That's actually. Yeah. Oh, I think that's. That's the number one gelato. That's the number one we've had so far is the Oreo gelato It's mania. so good. And honestly, I think number two for me is the Stracciatella. Stracciatella. From the same place? Yeah. This place wins. The Stracciatella is really good. It's really refreshing. Yeah. And you have that, those um, thin layers of chocolate. Yeah. It's very light it's like, and airy. A tiny crunch, but it's not hard like a chocolate chip. It's that, that tiny bit of um, solid chocolate. It's like flaky. I hate a chocolate chip because it adds like an extra texture it's that I don't need, but, but this is not this, like it that. Breaks, it melts it in your mouth. It breaks easily. Yep. It's perfect, yeah. This Oreo flavor is so amazing. It really, the, you can tell by the color. Look at the chunks of Oreo. Yeah. You can tell by the color. This is really something special. I knew um, as soon as I saw the color, I was like, I'm getting that. This is the price you have to pay <sighs> for eating good gelato. Not it's, really. Let's look at mine. Okay, you got... I'm clean. You're a witch or something. I know how to eat it so that it doesn't ruin my hands. I, I, for some reason, I can't do it. Okay, our next stop is the Patisserie di Amore, which means we're gonna love it. Some bakery items, I guess? Yes. Oh, wow. Oh my God, this place is cool. Oh my God. I was not expecting this. No. There's like Halloween cookies. Oh, they have the stretchatella again? Wow. I want this strawberry tart thing. Okay, there was um, so much to get in there. I didn't know what to get. Yeah, we probably could have gotten a lot. There was a million different things. So I just got this small chocolate cannoli. It looks adorable. It, it said to me it was like cannoli yet. So I'm guessing that's a mini cannoli. Yeah. All the cannolis in America I've had before, I don't like. I know this is probably something a little different. It's filled with chocolate. So how could you not like that? But this is better than any cannoli I've had in America. I've never seen one in America filled with chocolate. No, I, that's why I think this is more of like a... a it's a cannoli yet. It's a different type of thing, I guess. I got this cute, adorable, tiny little strawberry pastry. Let me see. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. By the way, this, the, the total was $2 total for both of our things total here. My cannoli is actually good. This is delicious. I probably have it all over my nose. I don't care. Okay, so this was our second dessert stop. It's so good. I think we have one more. I also, I need to find a Grenada or granite or whatever it's called. That's the pastry uh, stop we were just at. Amazing places over here, including the Smash Burger. Where are we, America? Okay, our next dessert stop. Is this it? I'm not sure. Patisseria uh, Minerturo? I'm not sure. I guess this is the name of it there. Look at all these cute things. Wow. <gasps> Look at those cannolis. Holy cannolis. 
So what'd you get? I got a strawberry cannoli. It looks amazing. Look at this. Looks I like love strawberry. Like pistachio one there? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Mm. It's very crunchy. Yeah. The shell, but very tasty. There's the name of the shop. Yeah. There's Brian. I got a chocolate cannoli. This is now it's a full size. Yes. Cannoli great. chocolate. Look at this thing. That looks amazing, to be honest with you. Come on. And Brian was a good boy. He checked to make sure there was no hazelnut in it. You never know. You know, I. I could be Nutella. Could be chocolate. Uh, it could be, but she's like, no, this is chocolate. Okay. Look at this. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that crunchy? I feel like I didn't think I liked cannolis because I've only had them in America and they all suck. You gotta come to Italy. Yeah. Okay, we're dying to have one of these granites or granita or granita. We're gonna see if this place has it. The Bam Bar. It says granite right there underneath. So I think this is gonna have it. Okay, we actually are completely out of time. We have to go. Um, they don't have takeaway there. And it's like a and, sit down and, and you have sit to down, sit they, down, place your order. Then they, Well, it doesn't even matter. It takes. It's a 20 minute walk back to the bus <gasps> stop. and. Is it really? It's a 20 minute walk back and we have 20 minutes to get there. Oh my gosh, we wasted too much time eating pastries. We only have five minutes to get back to the bus. I wanted to go, I wanted to find a place that had a really good granite, granita, granita, I don't know. So we found the first place we could find. Um, the Stecco Terramina. I, I think this place is new. There's not really any reviews online. So got like popsicles. I, I don't think this is going to be the best in the area, but we have to go. We have five really, minutes to get yeah. there. It looks like Italian uh, ice. It's basically Italian ice. It's it's basically a snow cone, but in a cup. Okay. It's shaved ice with sugar and like fruit. Wow. That's what it is. All right. Hmm. Pretty good. It's really good. Wow. This is lemon. It's really refreshing. We've been like hustling to get back. Oh my God, it's been hard. I was out of breath. The place is directly actually, behind Brian. Yeah. It's actually really good. Oh, look at this dog. Hi, baby. It's actually, it's really good. It's really refreshing. It's like shaved ice. It's really good. Put a bite in my mouth. Mmm. It's 1.44. We made it back with one minute to spare. We used every single second we had here in Terramina. We really did. But it was awesome. Absolutely, I would definitely come back. But now we're gonna walk around, we're gonna take the bus back, and then we're gonna walk around um, Messina a little bit. Because we have more food that we wanna eat. Yes, of course. Okay, we made it back to Messina. That's where our ship docked this morning. That was another hour ride back. And now we're gonna walk around a little bit here in Messina and check some things out. So Messina has everything. They even have this local Scottish restaurant here that serves hamburgers. And uh, we're actually gonna check it out. I wanna see if they have anything unique here. Okay, here we go, this. They call it a temptation. They call it a temptation. And I am tempted. Me too. This is what we need. This is a unique item. I, I'm confused though. Do I get just one? Because then in which case I need two. Or do I get three? I think it comes with three. So then I'm going to just add one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have this thing. I make toast. Let's, I mean, we don't know what it is, but let's just get it. They even have like a full pastry bar right here at the counter where you order. Kind of crazy. I think these are the stuffed croissants they have. And macaroons. We got it to go. He called out our number. I don't know the numbers in Italian. And then he looked at us and then he went, five, six, one, and we're like, yeah, that was us, okay. Something crazy is they put the drinks in the bag. This seems like a disaster waiting to happen. Oh my God, I'm actually so thirsty. you wanna give me one and then? Yeah, here you go. This is also, this is a large, look at it. That's a medium in this America. This is a medium, yeah, this is a large in Italy, medium in America. Okay, so we have our little treat. It came in a group of three, and this is called a Panzerati. I believe that this is an Italian McDonald's exclusive. You don't like it. You don't like it at all. No, the Starbucks pizza was way better than this. I hardly got any pizza though, so let me keep going. Okay, that bite was better. I don't like the breading. The breading tastes like fast food breading. 
but then the inside tastes yummy. Okay, so it looks like something that we have in America. Um, it's in the freezer aisle, and we call it a pizza roll. Mmm, yes. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm expecting here. Oh, it's like a mini calzone. Yeah, exactly. I feel like this is the, the un, this is the back side of it. This is what it should be, right? Mmm, yeah. Slight, slightly different. Let's see. Tomato sauce and cheese, mozzarella in the middle. It tastes, the breading tastes like this was deep fried instead of baked. I think it's actually pretty good. Well, you probably got more of the, the bits on your first bite. I, it does taste like, it tastes like a better, it tastes like a fresher pizza roll, like a Tostino's pizza roll. I think this is only in McDonald's in Italy. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I gather. Okay, we got one more thing here. This is, oh, it says it on here. This is the McToast. I think there's actually a few countries that have this. America doesn't have it, but I think there's a few um, European countries that have this thing. You have to tell me what's inside because... So here, what it looks like... Just cheese and, cheese and bread. It looks like a little, a basic hamburger bun that they've, they've turned inside out. Oh. And they've put cheese and I think ham. Oh, I like, just, I would like ham. Might be just cheese and might be ham in it. It looks gorgeous. It's the McToast. Just like toasted bread with a little bit of cheese. <laughs> we watch a lot of Love Island. They're constantly talking about cheese toasties. Is this what this is? Is there ham? Okay, that's the bite I want. It's honestly not bad. I mean, it's really basic, but not bad. What do you think? I think you're right about the fact that it's like two hamburger buns squashed together. Well, they're like they're like flipped inside out for some yeah, reason. Yeah, but I like it. Keep calm and eat focaccia. That's my kind of sign. We still haven't found focaccia yet. That's honestly a primary goal of mine. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, so this is the main center of Messina here. Wow. If you look, you can see um, that's where the ships are, where the Beyond and Explorer of the Seas is. And then, so close by is the center of town here and the famous fountain down there and the clock tower. I think he said that this is like an astrological clock in some way. And you can kind of see right here, like those are the astrology signs. Like I'm a Leo and I can see the lion. Apparently at 12 noon, um, we're not going to see it, obviously, because we were in Termina. Um, it has some intricate bells, animatronics, not animatronic, but like movement, like a, like a clock tower. Like a cuckoo clock. Like a, like a cuckoo clock, yeah. And I read online that um, one of the main things people do is when a cruise docks here is they'll come to this town center, this square, and just wait for noon and then watch the show and then kind of go back to the ship or whatever. So this is like one of the main, th like in our cruise compass, this, this was like, that was the main thing it listed as like a thing to do here in Messina. It's 3.59 right now. I don't know if anything's gonna happen on the clock. Cause I read it's only noon that has something happens, but we might as well wait and see yeah. if we get a little show here. They should make it go every hour. Don't you think? Yeah, I wonder if it's like, too old to handle it. Oh. Oh, look, did you see that, that figure move the bell? Oh, oh my gosh. That's kind of cool, actually. That's really cool. Okay, so apparently um, at noon, it's way more uh, movement. Oh, wait, do you see that old guy moving down there? Right by the skeleton, the scary skeleton. Oh, look at him go. Okay, so the old man, I guess the figure is just slightly rotate. So I guess you can kind of get an idea. I guess at noon, it's just way more intricate, intricate, way more things happening. But that's kind of cool. I'm glad we, we were able to catch the, um, the four o'clock. Me too. I didn't even realize what time it was. Yeah. I think we're going to get some dinner in Messina today. Pasta. Yeah. So we're going to get some pasta for dinner. Okay. Carrie picked out this, this pasta place to eat at months ago while we were planning our trip. Whoa. And it's closed. Unfortunately, it is closed. Oh, they open at 7.30, which is after we leave. The cool part about this place, though, is that it's like 
it's takeaway. Everything else is like you have to sit down to eat yeah. your pasta. We haven't had any pasta on this trip. I know. Uh, yeah, we didn't know when we were gonna come here. We didn't like know when our excursion would exactly end. And we're here right at the time they're having their siesta. siesta. Is that what they call it here? I don't know. I feel like that's what they call it in uh, Spanish. We're walking around Messina right now and I just think it's really funny to see the orange magic carpet in between the city from the celebrity beyond. Just looks funny. So we've been walking around Messina looking for somewhere to eat dinner and everywhere we find that looks really good is closed and they open at 7.30, which is after all our all aboard time. And everywhere that's open right now doesn't honestly look the best. Except um, for the gelato places. While doing some research for our trip, we saw that this place is apparently the best and it's really close to the, the ships over there where the ships dock. And apparently um, this place is some of the best in Messina. And this is called Ragusa. Looks pretty good. Wow. Oh, I think they also have uh, really good cannolis and stuff. Okay, the pastries look amazing. But they also have Grenada. So there's the place. Carrie got chocolate. How is it? It's good. Is it the best? They say online that this is the best. Is that the best we've ever had? It tastes a little bit like the Nutella one that I had in Greece. So it makes oh. me wonder like if it has... He said it, was, he said it was milk chocolate. I know. I think it's Nutella. Uh, they had Grenada, so I got that. And I got a coffee flavor, or cafe. It looks yellow or white. I think this is whipped cream. Oh, okay. okay. There's a beautiful so, monument behind Brian. Yeah, but I think, yeah, here. Oh, oh yeah, you see that? Okay, okay. So I guess it's coffee with the ice milk and sugar it's basically it's like the, the slushy but with whipped cream on top i guess do you like the whipped cream the whipped cream is good it's like it's so different because like the lemon one before was like so like refreshing whereas this like really is like a dessert you know wow very thick whipped cream mm. it's good okay so we're gonna finish this up and then head back on board okay we're back on board and we are kind of exhausted. <laughs> I want to. I'm. I'm assuming we're gonna have a daytime Gus. I need. I need the energy of this Gus. Yeah. You know, like I need it to bring me life. So I hope it's good. Gus, give me strength. Yes. We have clip. Oh my God! What is this? This is freaky. Oh, it's the alien. I guess this is an alien. Oh, I thought it only had one eye. I feel like it's a monkey, but it's kind of funky. This, it's the funky monkey. It's a funky monkey. This is weird. I don't know what this is. Huh. But I love him yeah. regardless. We got off the ship this morning, essentially right as the ship pulled in. And now the ship leaves in like an hour. Like we've been out all day. As we've been doing for the past million days. And it's so exhausting. I'll tell you what, we're, we're quote unquote young, but like this is hard. Okay, it's, hard. it's hardcore out there. My legs hurt, my brain Terramina hurts. Terramina is a lot of stairs. I was not expecting that. And everywhere kind of has been a lot hillier than I expected in my brain. Um, yeah, and I don't know, it's funny, like most of our cruises are like laying down all day. Yeah, it's like, cruise. let me lay out on a beach. This is an active cruise. Yes. And, um, you know, we couldn't get dinner out in port so I think maybe we do some room service. Pasta? No. Oh. Well, do they? I don't think they have pasta on the room service menu. Well, we're gonna find out. But what do you think about that? I like that idea. Let's go look at the menu. Okay. Rigatoni bolognese. Uh, I'm sure it's just as good as it is in Italy. <laughs> it must be the same as that pasta bar. Oh. Uh, I don't know. What are you gonna get? Chicken tenders? Ooh. Are we fools for thinking that the places would be open? I don't know. Like, I thought I, because if it was a cruise port, it might be. That's the thing. It's like, I knew that it was a thing that places closed during that like mid mm -hmm. to late afternoon time. But like, I thought like, oh, we're right next to the cruise port. And, and there were places open, but they didn't look like they were the best. They were the crummy places because that's, they know that the only way that they can get business mm. is if they're open in that in-between hour. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, I, I just think it's gonna be amazing tonight to get this room service. 
and then come out here and we'll be able to eat our dinner out here on the balcony as we sail away. I think that'll be amazing. The Celebrity Beyond is pulling out right now and Captain Kate is somewhere on that bridge. Do you think we can wave to her and uh, maybe she'll wave back? That would be my dream come true. I love Captain Kate. Where is Captain Kate? Where is Bug? Wow, the Celebrity Beyond looks really cool. All lit up. The twilight hour here. That is a really modern, sleek looking ship. Don't you think? She's a beaut. I love the colors. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get a great view into the bridge now and I don't see anybody. I don't see any cats. I don't know if we mentioned this earlier, but uh, if you don't know who Captain Kate is. You she's, should. She's uh, the captain of uh, a bunch of celebrity ships. She, she does more than just the beyond, um, depending on her contract, but she's really um, big on social media. Yes, I follow so, her and I follow her cat bug. Like, e yeah, even her cat has an Instagram and the cat lives on the ship with her. So, of course, the cat has its own Instagram. And, and is quite famous. Yeah, but Captain, K I mean, she's always posting like really cool behind the scenes info and um, and can we just talk about how cool it is that Captain Kate is a woman? Because there's not very many women doing what she's doing. And I love that about her. Yeah. Okay, we got our room service. I actually just felt the engines turn on. I think we're about to sail away now any second. If we haven't already, let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh, that's mine. I got the Royal Burger. It smells yummy. Underneath that, my chicken nuggies. Wow. Or tender. They Excuse actually look me. good. They do. And look at that honey mustard. Yeah. Okay, last but certainly not least, chicken quesadilla. Wow. Okay, all this smells amazing. Yes, I'm really excited. Yeah. So we left port and it got really dark out. So we came inside. Where we eat chicken tender. And it's what's great is the Royal Caribbean fake movie is on. I don't know which one this is called. This is the one where... Um, the spy kid's girl falls in love with her future husband. Oh, you know what I was going to say? It's like, this is the one where there's two people that fall in love on a cruise ship. Oh, wait, that's all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but these ones are adults. I feel like all the other ones are like teenagers. And Carrie's telling me that the two actors that apparently fall in love fell in love in real life because of this film. It's true. And they have a vlog. I don't remember what their vlog's called either. Hmm. But these movies are amazing. Because they're horrible, but also amazing. All right, it's time for tonight's dinner time question. It is brought to you by Stevie Johnson. Um, they say, I really enjoy y'all's videos, but I wish that y'all would just say how much you paid for the cruise. It would be really helpful. I'm here with all my friends. I know. Um, so I actually don't think it would be helpful. So we're probably not going to do this. And I'll tell you why. I'll explain everything. When we make these videos, we're not really trying to go for like a review. Like here's the review of this cruise. Here's what we think about it. Here's how much it costs. Like we're not really going for that. We're going like, here's our experience on the cruise. And for this cruise, we booked this cruise a year and a half ago and a year and a half ago, uh, we decided to pay the price for this cruise and we're really not thinking about it now. Like we're just, we're having fun on our cruise now and we're not thinking about what, like, and honestly, we don't even really remember. I looked it up, so I, I know now, um, but I'm, it, it, that's not fun. Like, because you know what I mean? Like yeah. we're just trying to have fun on our cruise. We're not trying to stress about what we paid for it. It was a year and a half ago that we decided to book this. Exactly. Um, it would be different if we were like, here's the iPhone 15, we're going to review the iPhone 15, here's the iPhone 15, here. here's how much it costs. Like, that's not what we're doing. And here's why we can't do that, is the other thing, that it's actually not helpful for what we paid. Because the prices of cruising change it. I'm I'm I was in Italy for one day and I'm, now I'm talking with my hands. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, the, the pricing for cruising and cruises changes constantly. Every single cruise is a different price. Um, not only that, but let's say you have this cruise on this ship, this itinerary, it's, it, it's October 22nd or whatever it is. It changes 
all the time. The price for that cruise that you're looking at will change throughout the course of the year constantly. It will go, goes up and down. Generally, over the year, it will go up. And we know that for sure because... Oh, yeah. So I saw what the, this cruise currently costed like probably like three or four weeks ago. Okay. So I, I, I took a screenshot because I was shocked. So this room, not this room, this category of room, junior suite on this cruise, our sailing date for a junior suite after taxes and fees, $9,047. Yikes. $9,000. How now, much did we pay for it? We booked this cruise a year and a half ago and we paid exactly $3,337. So really what this goes to show is book early. Book but early, also, that's always a strategy, book early. It shows that the price fluctuates yeah. greatly. It's huge. So that's why it's like, it's really not actually helpful for us to tell you what we paid because we paid 3,000. Now it's three times the cost. Now it's 9,000. So it would be like, just wrong information yeah you know what i mean yeah so you can go onto royalcaribbean.com and you can find what any cruise costs it's like so quickly yeah. and it'll be more accurate than I mean, having us yeah. tell you yeah i mean because we can't tell you because it's constantly changing so just go into royal caribbean make a mock booking as they say and you get the price i'm not I'm, i don't i don't want to be mean and say sorry we can't do it but that's this is the honest truth yeah like everything about the cruise, in, including your hotel and the flight, everything is just, it's always different. And again, the point is that we're just trying to show the fun day that we had. So we're not even really thinking about that. I mean, yeah, like we, we, we do our planning early. Like we booked the dining a year ago. We booked our Azumi thing like a year ago. We booked our excursions like a year ago. It's like, I don't even know what we paid. Like, we're just having fun on the cruise. Yeah. So. Well, that, that was the longest answer I know. I've ever that was had. the longest question ever, but. But I hope you enjoy spending time with our Gus Garden. Yeah, I'm sorry it couldn't be more helpful, but that's just the truth. And uh, we're not trying to, like, keep the price a secret or no. something like that. It's just, honestly, it's just so much easier for you to just to go on to the website and you can put in all your details, how many people are in your group, what kind of stateroom you want, when you're going, it, like, and that's the price, like, that's the only way to get the real price. We yep. can't really do that. Yep. Anyway, I think we're gonna go walk around the ship now, maybe go to the casino. I kind of want dessert, which is funny, because we have all of our plates of our empty food, and <laughs> we had gelato, and we had pastries galore, and I want yeah, dessert. I, know, I think I just want to, like, walk around a little bit. All right, let's do it. Okay. They always have different desserts and snacks at Cafe Promenade. I've never seen this. This is peanut butter chocolate mousse, and it's so good. This is my second one. <laughs> Bringing it back to the room. Also, I'm very healthy, so I got my Red Bull. Nothing's healthier than that. This is that. for tomorrow. I'm not drinking this. This at is night. what you use your diamond drink vouchers. Yeah, that, I was on. gonna say that. Yeah, like. We don't drink, so I use my diamond vouchers on Red Bull. And I got a Sprite and a Coke Zero. I also use it on the fake Starbucks right there. I'm gonna open up the door tonight because Carrie's always the one to open the door. So let's see if we have a Gus. I'm sure we will because this guy has never not given us one. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> It's a lobster, obviously. Wow, he has different oh. colored eyes. What's that called? There's a name for that. Oh, I don't know. But there's a book called Graceling, and it's about that. Here you go, lobster. Oh, enjoy. This what is actually, uh, we've actually never had this. Look at the folds. Yeah. That's impressive. Either we're moving really fast or we left the door. No, I think we, oh wow, the wind is howling. Like this swirling storm inside. We've never actually had the lobster. Yeah, but you're my lobster. Okay, bring out the dancing lobsters or whatever they say. You know what I mean? No, but did you know what I meant when I said that you're my lobster? Oh, the friends thing. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so I want to do this because I always open no! the door, but you always do this. That's not fair. Okay, so as you can see, we've just left port of Messina. And we are on our way up 
to Naples. That is where all the pizza is in Italy and that is what matters most to us. Our port tomorrow is honestly what we've been looking forward to the most out of this entire cruise. It's good to save the best for last. See you there. There will, there will be pizza. Good. <laughs>